In 2014, two students at Jilin University in China saw something weird in the air when they were getting out of a library. The air? None of them recorded it on his phone. He later described the thing as a 10 meter long red flying creature with four legs and a tail. It was flying at a high altitude and radiated a low metallic light that increased in intensity before it vanished into the southeast direction. I am confused what that is. Something flying in the sky, like a giant flying serpent in the sky. You guys know I'm terrified of snakes, so that's a big no for me. I think it said it was red too. Maybe it was just like an asteroid coming down and that was like its trajectory path. This baby goat born in Argentina what? has a human face. Oh my. When it was delivered, Ew. locals believed that something Ew. magical was involved in the birth. <laughs> Else, how is that possible? <laughs> The deformity is what? common among domestic animals, but it is not given as much attention as humans. Oh no. This case could be another case of deformation. Oh my but god, no one look is at considering it. that aspect. Look at it! It's so funny looking, but also it's kind of cute in a weird way. It looks just like a grumpy Pinocchio. Look at his little nose. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Somebody f the goat. And this is the offspring. I'm kidding, but. Wow, look at it, oh my god, I'm obsessed. Wow, end of the video, this is great. This next clip is just one of the latest. Secure Team 10, a YouTube channel with more than 350,000 subscribers, has published this new UFO sighting out of Texas. The footage of the Texas wow. UFO is actually pretty clear. Yeah. According to the man who shot the footage, the Texas UFO was saucer shaped so and tiny. apparently changed speeds. The man was baffled to see it because he doesn't believe in UFOs. It's so tiny though. It's like a little tiny speck flying through the sky. Can you imagine if aliens are actually like this big? And that's why we haven't found them or seen them because they're like literally this big and they're flying saucers like this big. Maybe, that looks so tiny. The Beast of Bray Road is a hairy humanoid with canine features that was sighted near the town of Delavan and Elkhorn Whoa. in Wisconsin, Ew. mainly during the 1990s. It was labeled a werewolf in local folklore. However, some people think it is a cryptid canine. It has been in the media regularly since the first sightings were publicized and even had a low budget movie based on its Ew. legend. Okay, first of all, it's not a dog, okay? It's either a werewolf or Bigfoot or whatever this is. Um, yeah, at least it didn't attack the car, you know? Uh, so that's a good thing. Maybe it's friendly or maybe it wants to stay in hiding. Yo, what if werewolves are real? What if that actually is a werewolf? The real flats deep in the ocean and the fact it likes Ew. to camouflage and is very <laughs> shy in nature, it is very rarely seen. They are thought to be able to reach lengths of around 17 to 18 inches, but some can be much smaller than this. In some places around the world, stargazer fish is sold as a delicacy because its poison is harmless to humans. Ew. People eat this? It's a delicacy. I don't know. I think it's funny because its eyes are on its head and its mouth is on its head. Like it's so, it's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and its teeth, oh geez. It's, its teeth make it look terrifying, but it's like, look at it. Oh God, it's so, like it literally looks like it has a nose too. And it's eyes like looking in two different ways. I just, I'm laughing at these because they're so ugly that it's funny. One day, some construction workers in Portugal were Whoa, working out in the what desert. Is that? The construction site was in the middle of nowhere. The workers were talking about the project, but that's when they saw something strange walking around. A large humanoid creature appeared to be walking around. It looks to be around seven that's or eight tall. feet tall, much taller than most humans. I'm glad that they didn't go towards it because that guy would have picked him up with its long arms and just probably threw them in there in his mouth. Look at it, the way it's like walking slow. This, this looks like the Bigfoot but he's on a diet. <laughs> in 2013, Richard Maria began seeing some kind of advanced life form following him around. Mm. He kept seeing the life form, but it would happen so fast and he'd never get a good look. So after a few weeks, he decided to set up surveillance cameras around mm, his home. Smart That's boy. when at 6 a.m. the camera captures something. A humanoid looking creature that? with possible <gasps> wings it's a fairy. seems to fly up into the sky. This happened in Richard's backyard. Its arms or wings are at its side. 
and it does seem to take the form of a human. You can vaguely make out a head, body, two arms, and two legs. That's a really odd shaped human if they think that looks like the shape of a human. Um, Cause that looked like a blob with two like square feet. Uh, it honestly could have just been like a firefly going by, you know, a dragonfly. And on the camera, it looks weird, you know? Um, or it could be that fairies are real. And maybe this fairy is like his guardian angel cause he said he's following him around. So it's just like, it's Tinkerbell, bro, it's Tinkerbell. Preacher is ape-like, <laughs> but it has very long and bent Why arms is this one and so legs. Funny too? Look it, it also seems to be hunched over. Bro, this is an Some ape. have said this could be a Sasquatch, or even the famous Bigfoot. Scarily, the Bigfoot! creature's gigantic sloth-like arms have no fingers. Bro, from that far away, how can they tell that his sloth-like arms don't have fingers? He's that so far away. If the hand is like this, <laughs> then it's gonna appear like he doesn't have fingers. This just looks like an ape taking a stroll, okay? Or it's Bigfoot. The, half of these pe things I'm saying are Bigfoot. Oh my God. <gasps> Some kids in an apple orchard Bro, see a, a flying bug. At first it seems to be a firefly or maybe a dragonfly. But after a few moments, you can soon see that it has arms and that legs. It's clearly edited. The insect seems <laughs> to have four limbs, two arms and two legs. This has led to many calling it a humanoid. The creature quickly flies off, scaring the kids. So at first, I was like, whoa, but then you can tell that it's animated in. But they did a good job, okay? I couldn't even make it that, that well. Um, it kind of looks like it's animated in. Um, I think you guys can all agree, but the kids did a good job. Mm -hmm. Looks like a creature from Bridge to Terabithia or something, or like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. A gigantic cave worm <gasps> appears oh, to swim its way no. out of a crevice in the cave before it then slithers its way ever closer oh, hell to the, to the no. Amazingly, though. Both <gasps> men show extreme calm and do not panic, making their way out of the cave in a quiet manner. Ew! Whereas I think most of us would be trying our best not to let out a blood <gasps> scream. Bro, oh, I think that's fake and I hope that's fake because what on earth is that creature? It looks like a giant dragon snake. Like it has the head of one of those like Chinese dragons with the little... It looks like he has like a little mustache, you know, like the little... You guys, I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But then it has like a body of a of a snake or a lizard. I don't like that. And if this was real, I feel like this creature would have just like snapped and bit their legs and they would have died. So I don't think this is real. Hey! Hey! Hi. <laughs> what kind of noise is that? Hey! Hi, 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 hi. Um, excuse me, sir? Obviously, he is a bit hesitant to explore inside after this, so he carefully explores the outside area a little bit more. Excuse me, sir? What kind of creature is living in that shed? Maybe it's just a homeless person and, and that's how they're scaring away intruders, you know? This guy's just squatting, he doesn't want anyone coming to his home, so he's like, ah! Ay, ay, ay! <laughs> Hear something. What is it? Oh, oh, hell to the no. <laughs> All of a sudden, a mysterious clicking or gurgling noise can be heard, which Ew. sounds like something straight out of the movie A Quiet Place. <laughs> And if that wasn't unsettling enough, oh. the terrifying creature can be seen poking its head around the trees Ew. before eventually vanishing from view. What is that? Or who is that? That is some weird humanoid creature. I can tell that's not a human. That is hands down not a human. That is something 
I don't even know what it is, but it's creepy and I don't like it and we're moving on to the next one. Ugh. <gasps> what is it? Oh my God, it's like a witch. A massive looking creature with a long face and big eyes can be seen <gasps> hiding behind some trees oh, toward the end of the footage. That is While the creepy. uploader asks, what is that? Before ultimately fleeing from the scene, just to be on the safe side. Because of the entity's unique appearance, many have speculated that this could be none other than the elusive Bigfoot. No, that's not the Bigfoot. That is not my friend the Bigfoot, okay? We were talking about him a lot in today's video. That's not him. The Bigfoot doesn't have a face like that from what I know. It's like I'm, you know, I haven't seen him up close and personal. But that's not what I imagine the Bigfoot looks like. That is some weird human alien hybrid. Like it's, it's massive glowing eyes and it's weird Voldemort nose and it's mouth. No. No thanks. All right guys, those are all the creatures we're looking at today's video. If you wanna see a part two, you know the drill. Smash that like button and let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments below which one of these creatures you would never want to encounter. That's a good question. Um, with that being said, I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye. Okay. You didn't count it down. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh well. Stress gets to guess. <laughs> like a giant flying sea serpent. Sea serpent. It wouldn't be in the. It'd be in the sea then. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Like, oh my god, we did a little underbite. Oh god, it's so like it's so ugly, but it's so cute. I gotta sneeze. Stress loves when I sneeze on camera. This ugly guy's back on here. A little blub blub. <laughs> oh, Bigfoot. Sorry. <laughs>